Hi everyone, so big news this week um, for me. You may or you may not have heard that uh, Aldi have recently launched their own alcoholic ice lollies. Obviously this is very exciting news for me. So I rushed up to Aldi pretty quickly um, and had to see for myself these ones. So they've got the Prosecco Bellini style ice lollies, gin and tonic ice lollies. I'm sure they're lovely. But I thought, hmm, maybe I can make my own. And I thought I would show you guys how to make your own boozy alcoholic ice pops for the summer. So I bought some ice pops, moulds. There are two different gin and tonic uh, ice alcoholic ice lollies that I'm going to make. And then I'm going to make one with uh, Prosecco as well. It start with a gin and tonic base. Because it's going to be frozen, normally I make my gin and tonics very strong. Um, I blame my parents. I have to kind of make it a little bit less gin, uh, a bit more tonic. So I've done it, um, so four parts tonic, one part gin. So I was in Aldi earlier buying these ice pops and I saw this gin and thought it was under £10 I think. And I thought, you know, why not give it a go? So the first ones that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put cucumber and mint. I really like um, cucumber and mint in a gin and tonic because it's really fresh and kind of, um, yeah, really kind of summery and zingy. So I have my two like this. So I'm going to fill them with the gin and tonic mixture and then I've got some mint leaves and some, uh, some fresh cucumber that I'm going to put in. So there. They look quite cool, don't they? Um, so there are my first two. So the next two I'm going to do, I'm going to use strawberries and pomegranate. So there are my strawberry and pomegranate. So the last two that I'm going to do is a sort of take on a bellini, but instead of using peach, I'm going to um, use strawberries. This feels very blue Peter. Um, I have chopped up some strawberries. Um, I put a tiny bit of sugar, just mashed it up. I'm just going to pour the Prosecco in and then add that mixture to it. Bought this from Aldi for £2. So, these are my strawberry and Prosecco. So, I'm going to pop these in the freezer um, and then once they've worked their magic, I am going to try them and then do a taste test against the Aldi ones. Hi everyone, so it's the day after, um, all my ice pops are frozen, but I thought I would try the little ones first, I've um, got the gin and tonic one, mm. it's quite nice, not very ginny, but I do like strong gin and tonics, quite sweet, they're very limey, they're 4.5% ABV, so can you get drunk on them? Maybe if you had like 20 of them, you might be able to get a bit pissed. Um, obviously they're quite little, but no, I'm quite impressed. It's quite tasty. Yeah, if you've got a sweet tooth, I think these would be really popular. Mm. So this one, the Bellini one, so um, Prosecco and like peach. Kind of looks like a Calippo. Mm. Oh, it's so sweet and delicious. <laughs> doesn't taste that much like Prosecco. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't taste particularly alcoholic. Oh, actually, now I taste the Prosecco. God, I could eat lots of these. Mm. So now for my homemade ones. It came out all right, I think. This one is cucumber and uh, mint. Uh -huh. Let's try. <laughs> Ginny, I can taste the gin in that. Oh, that yeah, that's more. That's more for me. And that cucumber, but it tastes like it's good for you. These ones are strawberry and pomegranate. Ah, oh, look at that colour. Mmm, that one is really good. It's quite sweet actually. Mmm. Ah, oh, that's really good. So the last one, this was my Bellini style one. Not nearly as sweet. Prosecco and strawberry. It'd be really good, maybe you put some mint in there as well. You could put in any different flavours. They're not as bad as I not as bad as I thought. Plenty of gin. Um so these ones I really like. 
if you've got a barbecue or people coming over i think yeah they could be really fun actually it'd be really good get like two or three of these blend them and make a like a slushy that would be a good idea but the homemade ones were really easy you can do all different flavors and i think they look quite impressive so that's it for today um i hope you enjoyed it definitely go and have a go at making your own boozy ice lollies um or have tried these because these are also great um but as ever like comment and subscribe and yeah enjoy the sun and i will see you guys soon thanks bye